Name the Disney Channel original movie franchise that the Jonas Brothers starred in. Courtney. Camp Rock! Hello and welcome to Beverly. Uh, today's topic is movies. Uh, I wish I was a contestant. I would, I would do so well. This is finally, finally one I think I would have done good on. But oh well. Oh, you're such a good host. And today competing for who knows the most about movies is Ian, Jackie, Courtney, and Kimmy. Yes! We got some fans of movies here. You like? I'm so, I don't know why I'm here. I'm, a <laughs> I'm notoriously the worst blockbuster player. I forget every movie I've seen immediately after I've seen it. Love that. So I'm gonna oh. great. We're gonna go through really quick. Everybody's gonna say their favorite movie. Kimmy, what's your favorite movie? High School Musical 1. Courtney. No. Thank you. Jackie. That's a good okay. one. <laughs> Enough with Jennifer Lopez. Nice. Yeah. You can't make me choose, man. I but, know. Uh, for now, I'll just say Paprika. That's a spice. Well, our categories today for Beppardy exactly. are legendary franchises. I think the, you know, big, big, big old movies, popular movies. High School Musical. Seeing one. Double, which is about movies that have a similar plot that came out at the same time. Um. Blockbusters, which is more about the revenue, mm. uh, the box office draw of movies, the amount of money they made, uh. stuff like that. DCOMs, which is Disney Channel original movies. Uh. This is bullshit. Uh. This is bullshit. Uh. Uh. I didn't grow up with cable. And one star only, where we read reviews for movies, one star reviews of movies, and you have to guess what movie is being reviewed. And what's the deal with that? Can we know about this? Final that's that's <laughs> Final Beppardy. Why is it so small and hiding behind yeah. you? <laughs> I don't know. And why is it Jim Carrey? Why? I don't know. Happen? We'll find yeah. out yeah. later. Okay, so who saw questions. a movie last? Uh, <laughs> what? I watched um, um, The Wedding Singer. Yes, okay, Kimmy, you're one. gonna go first. Okay. okay. Let's go, Disney Channel original movies for 50, please. Oh, you boy. got it. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw my box over there. Nice. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Do you know how much those cost? Which Disney Channel original movie featured a main character with a disastrous last name? <laughs> it's gonna go to Jackie. Johnny Coppola back on board? What? <laughs> Oh, it's Johnny Tsunami. Yes, it's Johnny. It's Johnny Tsunami. Oh. You said the sequel. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can we do uh, seeing double for fifty? In the shadows of Finding Nemo, name the less pop. All right. Um, shark. Shark. Oh, shark. Oh. Five. Four. Three, oh. two, no. one. Ian. It's gotta be Shark Tale. It's Shark Tale. Oh, oh, oh. All right, now oh, I'm gonna read the know. whole question. Okay. Um, <laughs> in the shadows of Finding Nemo, name the less popular fishy animated film released the following year with characters voiced by Will, Will Smith, Smith and Jack Black. And Angelina Jolie, what? I was like, Shark Tale! All right, Ian. Um, let's do Blockbusters for 50. What is the highest grossing movie of all time? Oh. Kimmy. Oh, is it Avatar? It's Avatar! Yeah! Yeah! I got, I got, I got, I got a one! Kimmy. I want to see these one stars. One star only <laughs> for 50 points. Review. Lies. There was not one lamb in the entirety of the movie. <laughs> Jackie. It is silent. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, Jackie. Let's, uh, let's do legendary franchises. Legendary franchises for 50 points. Before he was Edward Cullen. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I have nothing. <laughs> I, I'm just very excited to be here. I haven't done Beppardy in a while. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm really low games. I'm sorry. Uh, Damien, go ahead. <laughs> oh, he was in, uh, the no, Harry Potter franchise. No, he wasn't. You gotta name it. Five, oh, uh, four. Fire. That is correct. Dang oh. it! <laughs> Pretty cute guy. Hot. Yeah, Super for getting hot. bodied immediately. Oh. <laughs> okay. yeah, really put up a fight. All right, Jackie. One star only for 100. Review. Boys who fight. 
Big, strong, handsome boys take their shirts off and sweat and fight each other. Oh boy, oh yeah. There's a girl in here too, but she kind of acts tough like a guy too. Docking you 100 points. Uh, got it too. Lots of posing and posturing in this film. It's very cool. I found it hollow and could care less. Clockwork Orange said it better and was better acted 40 years ago. Rent that one instead. Oh. Kimmy. <laughs> Is it Fight Club? It is Fight Club! <laughs> what? Oh! Big boy shirt off thing. I haven't even seen it, but I just assumed. Okay, Kimmy. Um, let's go legendary franchises, please. I think this will be High School Musical 100, sorry. What movie featured the debut of Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow? Ian. I mean, the, the Avengers. Courtney. Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2! Courtney, pick a topic. Let's do scene double for 100, please. Name the two 2011 romantic comedies that centered around the struggle of crossing romantic boundaries with platonic friends. Uh, all right, Jackie. Those things attached and friends with benefits? That is That's correct. the one I was, I knew that was gonna be on there. I knew that was gonna be on there. That was such a weird time. Jackie, <laughs> pick a topic. Uh, can we do DCOMs for 100? Name the three DCOMs that Ryan Merriman starred in. Oh my God. Courtney. High School Musical. All right, Jackie. Uh, Smart House. Love of the Irish. Halloween? It's not in Halloween Town. <sighs> that is incorrect. Uh, if someone, oh. you did say, you said Smart House, Luck of the Irish, if someone can manage to say this third one. I feel like it's something with soccer. Nope. Balls, uh, is it crazy? All right, Jackie, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna give you a shot. <laughs> is it like Ring of Endless Light? <laughs> it's Ring of Endless Light. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie. Um, Blockbuster for 100? What movie is regarded as the first film of the blockbuster era? Courtney. What? Jaws. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Jaws. Oh, yeah. yeah. The moment you said it, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, Courtney. Let's do legendary franchises for 150. How many films are in the Rocky franchise? All right, Ian. Oh, there's two new ones. So, seven? Kimmy. Oh, I think no. It's, is it four? Jackie. Nine. Courtney. 11. Sorry. There is Rocky, one through five. Oh, wow. One through four are great. Five is stupid as hell. Oh, then there was Rocky Balboa. Oh, that's the so one Where I he missed. comes back at, no, and then there's Creed and then one there's and the two. two there's eight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You all perfectly I danced so around it. Rockies. Yeah. All right, Courtney. <laughs> Pick another topic. Let's do blockbusters for 150. Of the top 10 highest grossing movies of all time, how many are remakes or a part of a large franchise? How many of the top 10? Ian. Let's say five. Jackie. Three. Kimmy. 10. Courtney. <laughs> Six. Nope. All right, the answer is eight out of 10. Oh, wow. wow. Well, Avatar's technically a remake. That is not an no. original script. Oh, There's a bonus. <laughs> Name the other two on the list that are actually original stories, Ian. Titanic and Avatar. That is correct. Wow, nice. That's for 50 points. Good job. Okay. All right, okay, Ian, Cameron. pick a topic. I mean, we gotta go with Disney Channel original movies. Okay. Name the Disney Channel original movie franchise that the Jonas Brothers starred in. Courtney. I'll take, that as, an, <laughs> I'll take that as an answer. Camp Rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Courtney. Let's do, let's let's clear out blockbusters. Which Spider-Man movie made the most money? Courtney. That would be Spider-Man Homecoming. Ian. Spider-Man 2. Kimmy. Spider-Man 1. Jackie. Uh, Far From, far from Home? Definitely. It is Far From Home! <laughs> Which made $1.1 billion. Whoa. Jesus. Jackie. Uh, Same double for 150. In 1998, Disney released A Bug's Life, a month after DreamWorks released their insect-based animated film called what? All right, Ian. Ants, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ants, bro. Ian. Okay. Let's go seeing double for 200. Two magically inspired movies were released in the fall of 2006 both of which were critically acclaimed hits. Name those movies. Jackie. The Prestige and, like, gosh. It's Thank you. Not, Five, four, it's not the three, two, one. 
Ian. It's the prestige and the illusionist. That is correct. Ah, You're always so close. I'm so close. You're always so close. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do one star only for 150. Review. Sleep, you say? Looking through the top rated movies on IMDb, I found this which I'd never heard of. I went to Netflix and there it was. I've now watched 10 whole minutes of this absolute guff. Apparently it has something to do with people being asleep. Ian. I was gonna say, I don't know, it's wrong, but Inception. That is correct. Uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> sleep, you say? Uh, all right, Ian, go ahead. Legendary franchises for 200. Which movie came first? Fast and Furious or The Fast and the Furious? Ian. It's gonna be The Fast and The Furious. That is correct. <laughs> which, which one was Fast and Furious? That's the fourth one. That is also correct. <laughs> Do I get more points for that? No. Oh. All right, Ian. Let's go with the DCOM for All 200. Right. DCOM. Which DCOM's plot line centered around a group of high school students who used a computerized hologram as the lead singer of the band? Courtney. <laughs> oh my god, I just watched a freaking Danny Gonzalez video on this one. Yes. It's pixel perfect. It is pixel Woo! perfect. Oh, oh, oh my god. Whoa. Wow. I, let's just say, Eco Biloba, the brain supplement, works, guys. Because I would not have been able to pull that out of there. <laughs> All right, Courtney, uh, there's one. What do you okay. want? What are you going to pick? Because uh, I can't do legendary franchises, I can't do Sting Double, I can't do Blockbusters, I can't do Decums, I can't do One Star Only. No, it is One Star Only. Oh, One Star Only, I'll do that one then. A musical with no memorable music and talentless actors. Yeah. <laughs> La La Land. <laughs> oh, no! La La Land. Oh! oh. All right, it's time for a point recap. Let's see uh, Let's see where you guys are at. We have Ian with 800 points. Oh my gosh. Yes. Jackie with 750 points. Oh. Courtney with 550 points. Oh. And Kimmy with 150 points. Oh. Yeah! Oh. Better than nothing. <laughs> and now we're going into Final Beperty, where you guys will wager however many points you want out of the ones you have. All right, guys, it's time to wager. The category is... Alrighty. Who is that? Who the f do you think it is? <laughs> oh, Tom Cruise? Jim Carrey starred in three comedies that were released in 1994. What were they? Uh, now, Kimmy, <laughs> yeah. why don't you reveal your answer first? I Yeah, I wrote these immediately. I guess the comedy thing did like mess me up a little bit, so I was about to write something else, but The Mask, Ace Ventura, The Grinch. Uh, uh, Courtney. So, the third one, you'll understand why I put this title, and just don't laugh at me. Actually, you can laugh at me. So, Mask, Ace Ventura, and the lying movie where you can't lie. Big fat liar. But I put the breaking new net movie! Jackie. Yeah. So, I put... The Mask, Ace Ventura, Truman Show, and Cable Guy. Put four, <laughs> I put Pearl Four, I don't know. Four I, answers. I, I, Jackie, I didn't even think of Cable Guy. That was yeah. a good one. It was a good one. Because, yeah, I wasn't allowed to watch that. Yeah. Um, I put Me, Myself, and Irene, Ace Ventura, oh. and The Mask. Okay. Now what? we will reveal our wagers. Yeah. Kimmy, what did you wager? Everything. Kimmy wagered everything. Courtney, what did you wager? 400. Jackie, what'd you wager? 350. 350. Ian, what did you wager? 769. 769, that's awesome. All right. <laughs> now guys, I I was talking about this recently. I don't know if an actor, a movie actor, has had a stronger year than Jim Carrey in 1994. Like who has had this many classics, this many hits? He had Ace Ventura. Ooh. Awesome movie. Everybody still remembers it. He had The Mask, iconic. And he also had my favorite comedy, probably of all time, Dumb and Dumber. Oh! Oh, oh my god! That's what I was oh reading. my I was gonna god! Take out the mask but these him. were all good at Liar Liar, was, I believe, yeah. in the 90s. It's like 98. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In last place, we have Kimmy with zero points. Oh, baby! She wagered it all. Uh, in, in third place, we have Ian with 31 points. Ay, ay. In second place, we have Courtney with 150 points. Ay. And in first place, we have Jackie with 400 yeah. points. You did that, Jackie! You earned this! Oh, so stressful. So thank you guys so much for watching this uh, incredible episode of Beverly. I think it's been a real blockbuster. <laughs> Shut up. Get out. Let us know what other categories you want us to cover next time. 
Uh, and uh, thank you so much. Let us know in the comments what movies you think are great. What actor had the best year in movies ever? Probably Shane Taft from Julep and Lila. Probably that movie. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye! 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 Bye-bye!